Welcome to the Beam Embroidery Training. This video is an intro to the Melco Embroidery Operating Software. From the desktop, open Melco OS. You may see the previous design already up on the screen. Then, we'll go ahead and load a design through the File menu by selecting File, then Load Design. Choose the .ofm file that you saved from Design Shop, which Melco OS will then communicate to the machine. A useful tool in the upper toolbar is the 3D stitch option, which will show you the 3D version of your design. You may notice that it doesn't show the correct colors that you input within Design Shop. To fix this, we'll set the color sequence for the, the design by going to the right hand side of the screen with the toolbar with a button that says Color Sequence. Hit the Clear All button. This will erase the last sequence. Note: Never hit Reset Thread Tree as you'll have to manually re-enter each color number for all 16 spools on the machine, which is not a fun time. To enter a new color sequence, look at your design colors and click on the corresponding closest color on the thread cone display in the software. Continue to do so until all colors and needles are assigned. If the color on the spool does not match the color on the corresponding number on the top of the embroidery machine, then right-click the number on the software, find the correct number on top of that spool, and then input it to find number, hit apply, enter, apply, then OK. Click on the hoop selection dropdown to show the available hoop sizes in order to select your hoop. Click on the hoop you want to use or already have loaded. The new hoop will appear in the dropdown window. Center the hoop in the software using the icon or on the machine keypad. Use this chart to determine the sew speed for your project, which can be changed by the machine keypad or by the software controls. ActiFeed is the machine's automatic sensing of material thickness and pull to calculate and feed the correct amount of thread per stitch. Auto ActiFeed is recommended since it automatically adjusts for different garment thicknesses. You can optimize this automation by properly adjusting the lower limit, which involves identifying what type of material you're using, and setting the lower limit to that value using this chart. Design orientation can be changed by clicking on the F icon. Every click will rotate the design 90 degrees. 